What's going down? It's DJ Fang One, and I'm gonna run down how I program drums for the beats that I produce. And I'm gonna show you a couple of methods for programming drums in Acid 8. This is the DAW that I use for all my beats. It's also the DAW that I learned more advanced drum programming on. So I'm gonna show you why I like the, the workflow so much. Uh, one new feature of uh, version 8 is this native sampler called Vita Sampler and so right off the bat if that's what you prefer you know the traditional slicer pad assignment MIDI controlled drum machine you can, you can use that you can drag and drop audio files or you can load audio files I, I don't uh, usually punch my drums out. Sometimes I will if I want a really exaggerated swing. The method that I tend to use is just using the grid. So let me grab a sample. This is a, a fake sample created by me in Dream Life. 90 beats per minute. I'm going to drag it in. Change the project tempo to 90. Matter of fact, I'm going to start with the, the Vita sampler for my hi-hats because I want to swing those, so I'm going to play them live without quantizing them. So as you can see, those aren't falling right on the grid lines, which is good because I don't want them to. I want them to sound natural, and I can just copy this and paste it. Now I have, let me get rid of this, now I have eight full measures of sample plus hi-hats. I'm going to disarm that track and I'm going to pull in some drum sounds. So you can see I just drag and drop them and then I can use this tool, the draw tool, to draw drums in wherever I want. Obviously the ones I drew in are going to sound terrible. Um, at, but I want to create some swing, and this is originally why I gravitated towards using Acid, because the grid gave me a lot of freedom to swing my drums and, and quite easily. So uh, let me pull a snare, and then I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, so now I have a snare. I'm just going to paint that on the, um, the second and fourth counts of each measure. I'm going to try to make a boom bath track. And the grid lines make it easy because as you can see this is 1.2 which is you know the point two says that's the second count um, quarter note count and the one is the the measure so this is the first measure one second count two my bad fourth count of the first measure second count of the second measure fourth count of the second measure so on and so forth so if you're a visual programmer uh like i am then this is helpful. So I'm gonna draw my drums in. But I want a little more swing than that, on the kicks at least. So I could draw another kick here it sounds too robotic so I can zoom way in and as you can see these grid lines are getting smaller and smaller and I can trim using the same tool that I paint the drums on with I can trim parts of this kick off and then move it closer to the right so I'm not exactly on a quarter note or eighth note or, or anything that's gonna make my drums sound robotic oh and then this is i guess a lot of producers call this a ghost note i just go to the top of this waveform and pull down the gain so now it's really swung and i'm controlling the velocity manually I actually don't like how that sounds. I'm going to erase that, but I'm going to paste it over here. Let's see what it is. 
Uh, maybe replace that with the swing. I can copy and paste that. I can copy and paste this. And now I have a full uh, eight measure loop that I can build a full track on. Now let's say we really want to get crazy with the drum programming. I'm going to erase this stuff and change the tempo to, I don't know, 70. And obviously I don't want to keep my, my loop at 90 when my project tempo is at 70. So I'm going to mess with this. The, the same way that I can manipulate drum sounds, I can manipulate any audio. So, you, you know, these samples, I just click where I want, hit the S key, that's a shortcut I love, and it creates a split. So now I can move those individual pieces however I would like. Furthermore, and I've shown this in previous videos, I can click on any segment of audio and use just the minus or plus key to very quickly change the pitch of any slice of audio I want. So let's turn the metronome on for some help. Drop the tempo down a little, or the pitch, sorry, down a little more. So this, this is an option, um, locking your grid to ruler marks. So you choose any note value you want, and it'll automatically paint on that note value. So usually I just stick to the ruler marked, but if I want, say, all 16th notes, very easily I paste those on and, and quickly. Thirty second notes if I want it faster. But I want a variety, so I'm gonna paint on some sixteenth notes. And then I also want some sixteenth note triplets. some 30 second note triplets as well. Let's start with those. So now I have a more interesting pattern, but I can also manipulate the pitch of these hi-hats make it even more interesting.
Let's swap that sample out. So I'm at 70 beats per minute, so I have to find something at 70 or 140. Let's try this. That sounds a lot better. So that's how I program drums using Acid Pro 8. The workflow of this DAW makes drum programming pretty pretty easy. Even the more uh, complex elements of drum programming itself. My workflow when it comes to creating beats, just it's, it's natural. That's why I prefer to use this DAW over others. Appreciate you watching. I'll continue uploading more, um, especially as new versions of this program come out. Appreciate you. Peace.